Welcome to the 75 ChatGPT prompt to 10x your productivity in procurement. My name is Rolf de Groot. I'm the co-founder at Procurement Tactics, and I'm the one who created the ChatGPT and AI in procurement course. Welcome, and in this video, we will be talking about how to use ChatGPT, how to deal with privacy, um, the actual prompts, and I will talk a little bit about the free version of ChatGPT versus the premium version of ChatGPT. So in this file, you will see a lot of ChatGPT prompts, um, but most of the prompts are built in the same structure. Um, the first part of the prompt is between brackets. Uh, you should not enter the brackets necessarily, although you could do it. It's just to really give you a better understanding of the split uh, in the prompt. Between the brackets, you should give clear input to ChatGPT to describe your situation as detailed as possible. Uh, you do this to get the best output. In the second part of the prompt, after the brackets, you give ChatGPT the command or ask it the question. Now, if there's one thing you remember from this video is that the more details you give to ChatGPT, uh, the better the output. Um, if you're really short on what you're telling ChatGPT, it doesn't have a lot of context to go with it and the answers will be basic and, and, and not too useful. That's the first thing I really wanna share with you. Then there's a second thing which is really important and it's about the privacy. So ChatGPT uses all the input uh, users um, uh, put in ChatGPT to train its AI models, which is a good thing um, because it helps to uh, optimize the algorithms. However, what is not so nice is that the data therefore becomes visible to humans potentially and also to the models, um, which could cause issues with privacy and confidential information. So therefore, I highly recommend you to rephrase confidential information uh, make it anonymous. For example, supplier Coca-Cola becomes soda supplier X or whatever. Um, yeah, then we go to the prompts. Um, I have an example prompt, which I will uh, talk to you in a bit. And then um, let me paste it in here. So I wrote a prompt, um, as you can see it here on the right side of the screen where we go to ChatGPT. I'm a senior procurement manager for a mid-sized tech company, Tech Genius. And we are negotiating a contract renewal with our primary hardware supplier, Electroparts Limited, a multinational corporation known for its bargaining powers. Our company, Tech Genius, is looking to purchase 10,000 units of a specific hardware component over the next year. Our primary goal is to secure a unit price that is 15% lower than our current contract, due to budget constraints, without compromising on the quality or the delivery timelines. Additionally, we are interested in potentially extending the warranty period from one to two years. The current market price for this component is slightly above what we're paying now. But given the volume of our order and the long-standing relationship with Electroparts Limited, we believe there's room for negotiation. Electroparts Limited, on the other hand, has recently invested heavily in R&D and is looking to stabilize its income sources. While they are likely keen on retaining our business, we anticipate some pushback on the price due to their increased R&D costs. They might also propose some newer models of the component at a higher price, arguing the benefits of the latest technology. Now, as you can see, I put in quite some details in this example story already, but the more details you can put in, uh, the better it will be. So this was the first part, the input, and then it will give, uh, we will put in the second part, which is the question or the prompt which is in this case, what should be my negotiation strategy? Now, as you can see on the top of the screen, it says GPT-4 or GPT-3.5. Um, I'm running a ChatGPT+. Let's hit the send button and I will talk a bit about that. Um, because indeed I am using the premium version of ChatGPT, which is at this uh, moment of time, 20 US dollars per month. And the reason why we are using that is because we've noticed that the output of ChatGPT is just a touch better than the free version of ChatGPT. So definitely feel free to use just the free version because it works well. Um, it, it just works well. But I do think once you use the premium version for a while, there's probably no way of you going back to the free version because it just seems like ChatGPT is better able to understand your underlying thoughts and wishes uh, based on the prompt you're giving it. Um, it's just better to understand what it is that you're actually looking for, which makes the output of the prompts uh, also a lot more valuable. 
So here you can see uh, ChatGPT is giving us a negotiation strategy. Um, it's still writing, um, so that's fine. And, and if we go to the left side of the screen, in the meantime, you can see that this file is split up in negotiation uh, prompts, uh, sourcing prompts, procurement and sourcing analysis, supplier relationship strategies, contract management, administration, sustainability, personal productivity, quite a lot actually, and then uh, the end. So if you look here, there's a lot of prompts which you can use and um, here the, the input of the prompts uh, examples is quite limited and that is because they work fine, but just like I mentioned uh, in this video already, the more input you combine with the prompt here, the better the output will be. So definitely make sure to um, include a lot of details and just see how ChatGPT uh, will work with that. Now, I hope this was useful to you and I hope it makes you understand how to use ChatGPT and how to use this prompt file. In case you want to know more about using ChatGPT in procurement, I would definitely recommend you to have a look at the course ChatGPT and AI in procurement, where we will go a lot deeper into how you can use ChatGPT in procurement. Um, just scroll to the last page of the prompt file and then uh, click on the orange course uh, selection which will take you to the uh, website with more information. If you have any questions about uh, this video, about the prompts or about the course, uh, definitely reach out to us. You can find us at team at procurementtactics.com. You can add me on LinkedIn or you can go to procurementtactics.com and then go to our contact page. Uh, we'll make sure to reply as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to getting in touch with you. Other than that, I'm wishing you a really nice day and thank you for watching this video.